As well as doing basic soccer toa, we also have to be able to do it without a calculator. Now, if we are asked to do this, we'll be given the value of the sine, cos or tan beforehand, or we'll be asked to work it out. And this question is going through a very typical exam style question. Now, it tells you in the question that sine 30 equals 0.5. And if you put that in on your calculator, sine 30, you will get 0.5 out. Now, everything else about this question just uses normal soccer toa. So, to begin with, it's a, tri a right angle triangle, and we're wanting to work out a mysterious length or an angle, so it's going to be soccer toa. So, the first thing we do is label the sides. So, we've got the hypotenuse, the longest side, we've got the opposite, opposite the crucial angle, and we've got the adjacent between it. Now, the two sides that are important to this question are the hypotenuse, because that's the one we know, and the opposite, that's the one we're trying to find out. The adjacent we don't need to use. Now in terms of soccer toa, the only one of those, um, well, the only part of that that's got an O and an H in it is the, the so, or the sim part of it, and I'm just going to draw out that pyramid now. Okay, so to work out the value of the O, that's the side we're trying to work out, the opposite, that's this one here. We cover it up and we're left with the two at the bottom. And we remember that if we're trying to work out the thing at the top using the items at the bottom, we can multiply them together. Okay, so my calculation would be sine 30 times by, now the H is 12. Now normally at this point I'd use my calculator, but in this question it's a non-calculator question. Notice in the question it tells you that sine 30 equals 0 0.5, so I can actually just change that to 0 0.5 and now multiply that by 12, because sine 30 is 0 0.5. And 0 0.5 times by 12 would be 6, and we're in centimetres, so the answer to this question is 6 centimetres. OK, so have a go at this question, which is very similar to the answer before. OK, so we're told that cos 30 equals 0 0.5, so it's very likely that we're going to have to use that in the question. OK, we want to find the length of A to C. A to C is this side here, so I'm going to label that up with an X. OK, now let's label the sides as normal. So the longest side is the hypotenuse, the one opposite the angle is the opposite, and the one in between is the adjacent. The two sides which are important to this question are the, uh, the hypotenuse, that's the one we want to find out, and the adjacent, that's the one we know. The opposite we don't need for this question. So the A and the H are found in the cos or the cat pyramid. Again, I'm going to cover up the item that we want to find out, and I want to find out the H, so I cover it up. And that leaves me with the A, the adjacent, divided by C, the cos. So the adjacent for me is 4, divided by cos, which will be cos of 30. You might also write this as 4 divided by cos of 30. Now, cos of 30 in the question is given to me, it's 0.5. So what I'm doing is doing 4 divided by 0.5. Now this is actually a bit of a tricky part of this question. 4 divided by 0.5 doesn't mean half of 4, it means 4 split into halves. And how many halves are there in total in 4 holes? There are 8. And if you remember that dividing by half is the same as doubling your answer. So my answer is 8. 8 centimetres. Part B is asking you to do something very, very different. It's asking you to work out the length of side AB. Now you could use normal soccer toa for this, but we'd, you, we'd need to have other values. And on a non-calculator question, that would be very, very tricky. So the other way, of course, to work out the missing side of a right-angle triangle, especially one where you know two other sides, is to use Pythagoras. 
square, square, add or subtract and root. Now because a to b is one of the shorter sides, it's going to be square, square, subtract, root. So we're going to do 8 squared is 64. We're going to do 4 squared is 16. We're going to subtract those values. 64 take away 16 is 48. And then we're going to square root our answer. The square root of 48. Now that is actually the answer to the question. On a calculator paper you could press the button on your calculator to turn that into a decimal. But for now, it doesn't ask me to give it as, as a decimal or anything else, and on a non-calculator paper, I wouldn't be asked to do anything with that. If you study higher maths, you might be asked to simplify that third, but you can practice that in a different video.